destination. You feel safe. You feel beautiful. You feel like you belong. I know you. No, I don't think you do. No, I think I do know you. Want to go swimming? What? You're the first time on the island. Yeah. Oh, we must christen you. Baptism by water. You sure about this, man? <laughs> Trust me. See you below. Stop feeling those affections. As long as blood is running warm in our veins, we will never accept this abomination. Why some fucking come from around here, boys? Float? Float. I cannot float. You can do anything. All right, welcome back, everybody. What you have just seen is the trailer of the film Float by Kareem J. Mortimer, and we're going to be chatting with him on Skype this morning. Now, for those who don't know Kareem Mortimer, he is a Bahamian filmmaker who is credited with quite a number of films, such as Chance of 2005, The Eleutheran Adventure of 2006, Float, I Am Not a Dummy, uh, Children of God 2010, uh, Windjammers, and many more. Good morning, Kareem. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing quite well, my friend. And yourself? I'm doing fine. I'm, I'm, I'm up in the morning and I'm really excited to talk to you guys. <laughs> you know, it's sometimes uh, difficult, especially for people within the creative sector, Lisa was telling me, um, to wake up early in the morning and have to do these things because, uh, you know, we're usually night owls rather than early birds. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're always thank, up for the show. Yeah. yeah, but thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. All right, so your film Float, you know, um, you have a number of films credited to you, but your film Float in particular, that would be airing on TTT very soon, you know, and you as a fellow Caribbean uh, member, a fellow Caribbean um, citizen, uh, you know, we consider you all local. We, you know, we're all locals for each other. Though we're regional, but we're within the Caribbean region, uh, you know, so we, we live for local here on TTT and are always ready to support local. Um, the film Float, that story is one which, um, especially in older times, would have been very controversial. What was the yeah. main point of the story you wanted to get out there? Uh, look, you know, I am, um, well, first of all, I'll say I, I do have Trinidadian roots. My, my grandparents, my grandfather was from Trinidad. He ah, immigrated well. to the Bahamas in the, in the 50s. Even more local um, then. Yeah, so I have some, <laughs> I, my, my family's still there. Um, so the, the impetus for Float, I, I, I made it very early in my career. Uh, float was, I wanted to take a topic that seemed taboo and, and, and make it really human where everybody from all walks of life can look at these characters and identify with them and, 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 and have a discussion around these issues uh, that present like race and uh, sexuality and homophobia. And um, so that I was the impetus for this film. Definitely. And I see in the trailer there as well, there were... There were um, individuals within religious communities who spoke condemnation of the relationship between the two main characters. Yes. I, I, I don't think that all religion espouses that uh, so virulently, virulently but um, the, the ones in the film do. Yes, and that's from actual footage. Really? Actual, actual protests in the film. Yeah. And uh, there were also graphic scenes of, you know, uh, people who were against them even to the point of physically wanting to physically assault them. Yes, yes, that happened. That happened in the film, and, and uh, you know, it, it was it was it was inspired by talking to a few people and getting some experiences of some people and, and putting that into into this production. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask. My next question was, uh, you know, in the research for this uh, film, you know, what are some of these stories? Uh, did you put people's personal stories in it? Of course, with with different names and, and with the characters, but did you put people's personal stories and experiences in that film? I think when we write stories, uh, it's a kind of amalgamation of different types of people all into one to make something new. 
So, you know, just like my, my own personal experience, that experiences of, of others and, and what I read in the newspaper and what I see around me, uh, you just kind of take all of these influences and you, and you use that to, to make it one cohesive uh, original piece. So it was it was it was a mixture of all of those things and oh, yeah. to creating this work. Most definitely. And what does it mean to you that this is going to be shown on national television here in Trinidad? Well, first of all, it feels great. I, I'd like to thank the people that organized it. Um, the you know um, Mariel and everybody to 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 really embrace this film. Uh, and and it's and it's really it's really wonderful that that it's getting attention after all these years, and I hope that it can move people. I hope that it can touch people, and I can hope. But more importantly, I hope that it can raise a discussion amongst everybody. Oh yes, most definitely. And uh, if you had one takeaway you wanted people to leave with from watching that film, what would it be? Well, my and and every film, I my 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 whole goal is for people to be kind to one another. So I hope that we would we would we would have tolerance for one another, and we would also be kind to one another. So that would be my takeaway. And that is an yeah. excellent way to close. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, kindness is is what is necessary. And I want to thank you for being so kind to join us this morning, Kareem. Uh, thank you, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So thank you so much, Kareem. Yeah.